uh, in this video we're just going to go through some of the theme functions that you can set up here in the admin area and we're also going to look through the page.tpl.php file so here's our basic install um, if we scroll or if we navigate over to the themes uh, you can see that we have the sample theme activated which right now just looks like the Zen theme right now because we haven't added any elements to it yet and we're gonna come down here to our sample theme and click on the configure button and right now I've checked all of these options right here we have the logo site name the only two that I haven't checked is the user pictures in post and user pictures in comments this is because it requires some additional settings for these to become active and those settings are usually by activation of certain modules and certain permissions. If we scroll on down, uh, we have our logo settings, our shortcut icon settings, and then we have some other theme settings like this uh, show block editing on the hover. I always leave that checked because it allows for these configure and edit menu links to show up on any block that you create. It's a great feature. Um, you can indicate what you want for your breadcrumbs and you can you know edit some of these breadcrumb settings as well and you know display borders around your elements if you want to view the wireframes um, so this area is important for a themer because you may be looking for one of these options in a block rather than in the theme settings and this will allow the user to activate these items and it will be displayed exactly where you theme it and how you themed it so if we take some of this stuff and look at the page.tpl.php file um, here's our page.tpl.php file uh, there's a lot of documentation in here that you can look through and you can kind of see as you scroll through this this file uh, where it's calling these certain regions and and functions and stuff so so say we're looking for uh, the logo area uh, we want to theme this area right up here if you open firebug and inspect that select it so that it selects the whole range across down here you'll see the div ID is the header inner and so if we searched that Right here, right here is where it displays the div that that creates that box and within there there's a PHP if statement and the if is looking for the logo the site name or the site slogan if any of this stuff is present it's gonna it's gonna print from here down so within that you have another if statement asking if the logo is present then print the logo if the site name is present and so on and so on so you can kind of just look through this uh, file and see you know where it has the calls for the logo um, the titles the site name um, pretty much kind of self-explanatory if you needed to take out a specific item uh, for instance this site slogan here I always look for a beginning and an end to the if statements so this will ensure that I'm grabbing the entire area for the site slogan so say I wanted to move this I could copy it and remove that but I won't do that right now we will uh, go through some of this rearranging of these items later on uh, I just want to give you an idea of, of what this page.tpl file looks like and how it relates to your theme settings so, so you'll notice um, on this toggle display, if we removed, you know, logo and uh, maybe the search box, and save the configurations, then it no longer displays in the theme. So this is really important because, you know, if something's not dis or if something is displaying, you don't necessarily have to, um, you know, you don't want to use like display none on some of these options that's just not the best practice to use and, and more often than not you have 
some of these options in, in the theme settings. So just something to consider when you start your theme. Okay, so in this area you can actually upload your own logo graphic. Um, let's see, I have one right here that we can upload. And you can also upload your shortcut icon graphic. Which, uh, here's a Photoshop file that I've basically t taken the uh, logo graphic and copied it into this file. If I removed it, I actually opened up the original Drupal icon graphic. And what you need to do this with Photoshop is there is an ICO plugin. And you can just search for it on Google, find a free download, and install it, restart Photoshop, and then you can save it as these ICO files. And I just added a complete black background and dropped the logo in there and shrunk it and saved it for the web. Saved it as that ICO file. And now I can come here and upload that file to get my custom ICO file. So we'll have a logo and a shortcut icon. And we'll save it. There's also another way that you can do this. Um, right here I'm in the site's default files folder. And this is actually where it uploads those files uh, from the theme configuration page. So it puts them right here, keeps them completely separate. If you go to the site's all themes sample theme that we're creating, it still has the uh, Drupal icon for these. So if you wanted to save over these, uh, that's another way you can do it. Then as soon as somebody activates your theme, it will show what is listed in here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to save this for the web as my logo graphic, make it a PNG file so that it, I'll simply overwrite my existing. Okay, now we're going to sites, all themes, sample theme, and I'm just going to save it right over the logo PNG file, replace it, and then I'm going to do the same with this, save as, and select the ICO format, and save it right over this one, replace it. Okay. Now within our sample theme you see that it has our our logos in there. So you can either leave the default Drupal ones or use your own in your theme. Okay, now if you clear the cache and refresh it <coughs> now our little I shortcut icon will show up up here, which means that it's reading it properly. So, two things I always do is check the Drupal cache and clear the browser cache. So, after I did both of those, the shortcut icon shows up up here. And in the next video, we're going to dig more into the style sheets and start really laying out the, the layout of this theme.